So what I want to do today, what I want to do today is talk about two example problems. And uh, before I uh, jump into the first one, let me tell you why I chose these two problems for the first lecture. These problems have to meet three criteria. So first of all, I wanted problems that were just, you know, that motivated themselves. Problems where obviously they need to be solved. Okay, really the, for the world to run, for science to proceed, these problems have to be solved. Second of all, I wanted them to be non-obvious. So most of you do not at this stage in your education know good algorithms to solve these two problems. Third, by the end of this class, you will know algorithms for these problems. Not only will you know algorithms for these problems, but you'll know general algorithm design principles, which can be used to solve many problems, including these two as particular special cases. One other caveat before I jump in. Uh, so this lecture is meant to be at a fairly high level. Okay, so we're not going to see any mathematics or equations or pseudocode on the board. Uh, I'm going to gloss over some details. If, if, if every single, you know, I doesn't seem dotted and T seem crossed, relax. It's okay. This isn't the kind of lecture where you're supposed to obsess over every detail. This is the kind of lecture where you're supposed to sort of soak it in and get a feel for the flavor of this class and the range of applications that it's meant to address. Okay? All right, so problem number one that I want to talk about is routing in the internet. And so by the way, I, uh, I assume my reputation handwriting-wise precedes me. Um, given that these are being recorded for posterity, I'm going to try to be good, but good for me is still, you know, kind of a C minus in penmanship. So I promise you, you can, you have an unbounded budget for the number of times you can ask me to clarify something, what, what something says, rewrite something on the board, etc. I give you my promise, I will never be annoyed or angry if you ask me, if you can't read something that I wrote on the board. Okay? And if you can't read it, probably other people can't read it as well. So definitely, uh, you know, whenever you like, at, you know, interrupt me and uh, ask what something says. Okay, so first example, routing the internet. How do you get from point A to point B? How does data get from point A to point B? Well, let me start with a sort of nebulous observation. Okay, so I'm going to claim that we can think of the internet as a graph. Okay, a graph in the sense you learned in discrete math with vertices and with edges. Now, what could I mean? Okay, there's no, so I'm going to ask a question. It doesn't have a unique answer. There's a number of things I could mean by this. But uh, someone want to give me, you know, one interpretation of this sentence? So, for example, if the internet is a graph, what vertices do you think I have in mind and what edges do you think I have in mind? Any proposals? Yeah. For the vertices, all machines capable of routing or sending packets. Mm -hmm. um, and the edges would be uh, the stall transmission lines weighted appropriately by... So I think that is sort of the uh, probably first order answer um, that that uh, that is what I might mean. So we're, thinking, right, so we're talking about routing. We're thinking about communication, and so the nodes, the vertices of this graph, are basically machines on the internet. Okay, so end hosts, routers, and so on. Anything which is capable of generating, receiving, or uh, passing along information. So let me just say vertices are end hosts plus routers. And then <coughs> there's going to be a link between two vertices if they're capable of directly communicating with each other, possibly by a physical connection, a cable in the ground, possibly by a wireless connection. And so these, in general, are directed edges. <laughs> Sorry. Physical or wireless connections. Good. So, for example, uh, if I send an email from my 
Stanford account to some other email account which is not a Stanford account, then that data has to get from inside the Stanford network to outside the, the Stanford network. So at some point, this data traverses through what's called the gateway router. I think Stanford maybe even has two of these, but at some point, the data transitions from being inside the Stanford network to outside. Its final stop inside the Stanford uh, network is called the gateway router, so that would be one node in particular in this graph. And then the Stanford gateway router passes it off to Stanford's internet service provider, which this might be old information, but last I checked it was cogent. So they also have a gateway. And there's a direct connection, physical connection, back and forth between these two. So this would be one little tiny piece zoomed way in inside this internet graph. Okay, so these are sort of what the nodes and edges in there would be. There are also, you know, I, I, like I said, this is a sort of ambiguous question. So I, I think this is kind of the closest thing to what I meant as far as a graph. But what about if we think less literally about the internet and we just think about internet and stuff on the internet? You know, what are some other kinds graphs that come to mind. So graphs that are closely associated with the internet. Any ideas? Proposals? Social networks. Social networks. What will be the nodes in a social network? Say in Facebook. Profiles. Profiles. What will be the links? Friendships. Right. So that's, a, that's another classic example of a graph closely connected to the internet. Okay, so profiles and friendship links. Similarly, you know, even before social networks, when we just had the web coming out in the 90s, that was one of the first graphs of this type that people thought really obsessed over, thought a lot about. So that's there you'd have uh, nodes being web pages, and links would be hyperlinks, because you'd have dir a directed link from one node to another if the former page linked to the latter. Okay? So let me just write um, so other internet related graphs. So these are not the ones we're going to talk about today. I'll probably talk about them a little bit later. But just so you know, they're out there. Social networks. 